So today's the day that we actually are going to be planting the 45C now. It's been long awaited. Of course, we escaped this tank way long ago. And that was just because I had the stone and I was really excited. Oh, so I escaped it about six months ago now. Um, maybe even a little bit longer, but it's been quite a while that you guys haven't seen this tank. Of course, we started the series from escaping it. And then you really got no videos after that because obviously there wasn't really much to update. But obviously, I was going to save this tank for 2022, which is still which is still what I'm doing. So by the time you see this video, it will be 2022. But you, you probably have already seen a couple of videos already before that. And, that'd be, and that might need more of like an overview before we start this tank. And a little bit of the equipment that you guys haven't seen in the last video that I've done. And a few other things like lighting and stuff like that. A little bit of overview of the whole setup before, you know, actually, you know, do the planting and so. So if you saw that, definitely go back. We have, I have a series, a playlist of every tank I've ever done. So current or present so if you guys are definitely interested in a certain tank just go to my channel go to a playlist and find the tank and you'll be able to watch every video on that tank so so yeah so if you haven't been following along i know instagram has seen so many videos about this tank and what my plans are so if you haven't really been following that you probably are kind of not really aware of what i'm going to going for with this tank so so plant wise basically well the, the, let's step back real quick so the escape idea for this tank is basically like a side of a riverbed so if you can imagine this like being the water level of like a river or even a lake or whatever you want to imagine it as and then this is the mountainside so say if you're say if you're floating around like a boat or something right here you can imagine like this is looking up on the cliff side you're seeing trees and we're gonna have stem plants back here forming to make it look like you know there's trees up on the up on the hillside and then we're gonna have mosses and Estrepins and Monte Carlo vining down the rocks to make it almost look like you know, you know, a lot of weeds and vines are growing down, and then also have Monte Carlo as well with that effect. And then we'll have estrepins and Ricardia moss as like shrubs and bushes all in along the cracks and mountainside. So you kind of like get the idea. And then obviously, we got all the driftwood to make it look like so the tops will see more of like, like a couple of fallen trees, and then this is more the other detail pieces are more just like branches or so or roots you could say um, all come out the rock work and stuff like that so that's kind of what I'm going for with this escape and I hope I achieve that I mean obviously from what, what, how the view that you guys are seeing it right now obviously you, you're more looking higher when you're actually standing and looking at it but this where the camera's sitting right now is kind of like how you'll see it through the contest when I take the final pictures which this will be my 2022 ADA contest tank um, if you guys didn't know that but if you're looking at it for eye level, you can see where I'm going for with this cliffside mountain. And so I really hope that once we plant it and it gets established, that it really turns into that. Um, if it doesn't, it still will look great no matter what. I mean, the escape turned out amazing. And um, th this is going to be a tank that will probably never get rescaped, honestly, at least as long as I'm here. So I don't think I could really approve, um, make any better scape than this dimension scape. Um, this tank, this 45C, obviously is just continuing now, but it's 18 by 18 by 18, so it's a cube. And cube tanks, it just depends, like smaller cube tanks, even this size, I mean, you, you can make like some cool skates, but really, I mean, there's only so many things you can do with the cube tank. It's, it's a really difficult size to escape, and I think what I did here is probably the best I'll ever be able to achieve in this tank, especially with the, with the really sick photo style and the detail, and especially this one and a lot of the other ones that I chose out personally. Um, and... Yeah, I just don't think I'm ever going to achieve something greater. And plus, the, one of the other main reasons, I'll have um, some high dollar shrimp in here. Um, this will be my second tank with really expensive shrimp. Um, since I'm not sure exactly what, I'll, of course, there'll be caradinas. I might go with some really high grade um, red tigers in this one. That's that's kind of what I'm leaning towards right now with this tank. But, yeah, that's that's basically the, the plan with the, with the escape here. So, obviously, I don't want to make this video too long. It's already going to be pretty long. Um, once I get it all planted, but I just kind of wanted to sit down and talk the skate first for anybody that was interested in that. And then so I'll get planted. I'll see I'll do a time lapse like I always do. And then at the end of the video, I might actually just, the very last clip might be a, a time lapse of me filling it up too. And then that'll basically be it for the video. So yeah, I'll get, um, if you have any other questions, if you, you know, don't don't watch the rest of the video. If you, if you have any other question, um, you can comment down below. Um, obviously my Instagram is JJ Aquariums. Um, you can DM me there. Obviously I post daily on there also. So if you're ever wanting to keep up to date with my stuff, um, definitely follow me there for sure. But other than that, I'm going to get into the planting and I'll come back to you guys one last time just to discuss what I did and more close-ups. But other than that, 
I'll see you guys after time lapse. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me the kind of fake to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me the kind of fake to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Turn it from, turn it to an ocean. Let me float around. So I hope you guys like that short time lapse. Um, it was filmed, of course, over like 30 minutes, and I usually make them, you know, about 30 seconds to a minute um, at the longest. So I try to keep them real short, just so you guys don't get too bored. But obviously, a lot, a lot of this tank you couldn't even see because a lot of the planting was in the back, especially the stems. But you guys saw, hopefully, you saw, you know, a good amount of the other stuff. But just give you guys a little quick glance. Obviously, I'd love to actually go through and really make a a good video of me actually you know slowly planting so you guys can kind of see you know what my thoughts are and you know why i put stuff where i put it but that that's a whole nother video and obviously i'm just not good at editing at all so i try to keep my videos sweet and short um and to the point sometimes i know a lot of people like that a lot better instead of re me rambling for an hour but but yeah so yeah everything went pretty good so so yeah basically i didn't really do anything much different than what i actually you know told you guys in the beginning so yeah i did i, I did a lot more ricardia than i thought i would i don't know why but um a lot of you know a lot of ricardia throughout the thing i tried not to go too crazy because of course you're just going to grow and grow over time so you know i place it you know definitely put some of the foreground because that's going to look really good and then obviously i stuff some under there you know and some of the crevices but of course some a lot of the crevices are going to have s reference too like you see some spots i could have filled in a little bit more but i had one cup left i wanted to save that one cup for the 60f um because that needs to get some more s reference so i'd rather do that so but you can see i got s reference over here it'll go down here basically lying this entire light side garden here even got one going right there that will kind of like wrap around this rock right here that just looks nice obviously got some down here um what do you even love to like doing some of here the lights just turned off but but yeah so the one thing i really changed is i i put some monte carlo along this log i thought that would actually look pretty neat you know this line got logged and eventually going down and then of course i did the monte carlo down here here and here and i didn't want to get too crazy thick because again i want to make sure i still showcase a stone enough but i just you know just that main spot right there i really wanted to vine down really good and then you know just down the corners right here and then i even got one right there that's going to eventually vine down so just in a few spots but let me turn the light on real quick okay we're back back to normal now so yeah and then basically yeah and then the stem so i got um atra right here h right here and then right in front of it i got the the macrocrania um i'm probably saying that so wrong i've always said it like that but i know it probably is pronounced so differently you know in japan and stuff like that but it's the it's the mini version so it's the sp red butterfly red is what they'll usually call it and i put that right in front you know you can see right here more right here and then in the middle here is a mixture of sp green and then that one plant i told you guys that i'm just going to butcher the name more than anything because it's a scientific name and it's extremely long but it's going to give it more texture and give it more almost like a pine tree type look in my opinion and that's kind of why i chose it because it kind of gives it a more sharp needle leaf um look and so i added that more like in the back and then right in front of it i put the sp green so hopefully that kind of grows in nicely there's definitely more of that than the sp green so hopefully that kind of takes mo more over and then the sp green just kind of like mixes in with it and then of course eventually like we said once it kind of gets taller and covers this pipe we'll, we'll trim it in the you know in the final look that we want it to but yeah i think that's gonna look really good we'll see what happens oh and then the other things obviously i got the boost of flange as you see here and there um basically all i mean i would love to really boost a flange with this tank up but really i think this is just enough just in a you know in each little log i think that's good enough again i don't want to take away from the hardscape so i think i think that's just enough and then so yeah i'll see and then oh yeah monte carlo growing down here going down then i also added the pinophilia because i just had it with the acardia that i trimmed off the 45p 
And so I'm going to actually have that growing down up on this little top that shoots up. I think that potential looked really good because obviously all this stuff back here is going to get covered. So at least with that piece showing in front of the stems, that maybe will actually grow in. So I think that'll look kind of nice. It's kind of, I mean, it is kind of by itself. I mean, I do have this one over here too, and I'm hoping it'll kind of line down to actually make like a little, hopefully maybe like a little bush of pedophilia right there because with such strong light, I think it'll actually, you know, more want to stay compact hopefully and especially with trimming too but and then the only other thing is the hydrophila chai that i had left i just put it in here because nothing's really going to take over this spot so i think this will have its best chance right here i doubt it even makes it but uh, you know might as well try i mean i had it so i just planted in here but this spot should stay pretty open to where it'll have a really good chance right there but we'll just see what happens of course but but yeah, that's about it. So like I said, I'll probably have a um, a clip here at the end of just a quick time lapse of the flooding all the way. Um, I don't actually know if I'll do that or not. I'll probably just save it for a whole another video of filling it up um, just because um, this phone's going dead. So I don't know if I'll actually film that or not. So if I don't, um, definitely watch out for the next video because I'll probably have that then. But if not, then yeah. If you guys have any questions about anything, it could be about the equipment, you know, anything besides, it doesn't have to be about the plants, or anything about the setup you have questions about, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Um, like I said before, you can follow my Instagram at JJ Aquariums, where we get daily updates, you know, day-to-day -day updates, so you guys will really see this, you know, tank up the day. If you, if you want to see it before YouTube does, definitely follow me on there, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one.